the brothers are back and today we're checking out breachway a roguelike deck builder space battle game as best i can describe it if you like ftl you're gonna love this one so let's check out the prologue together there is a demo if you did like ftl this one's right up your alley so here's how it works the parts of your ship determine your starting cards all right so we'll get more into the systems as we play but that's basically it and the more parts you place in your ship the more cards you have in your deck you also gain cards as you play so we'll be skipping the story here for now all right go to the first waypoint and here is the combat as you can see it looks just lovely right like a 3d FDL. And for those who don't know, FDL means faster than light. Check that game out if you haven't. Okay, so of course you have your cards, and each card requires resources to play. But they're the color, so I'll explain it to you here. Just get this out of the way. So Slice needs three green resources to play, and Block needs two green resources to play, and we gain four every turn. For the enemy, these squares, these determine his weapon systems, and as those rectangles fill up, one, two, three, that means the action will be done on that turn. So right now, he's still quite a ways away, so we just feel free to go ham on him. And as you can see, the bars filled up a bit, and now he's going to be doing laser pulse this turn. But the tutorial says we gotta go block it and that we will basically any card that you use has a cooldown and once the cooldown is, is is finished it goes back into your draw pile pretty cool right but right now we can't really do anything else or we shouldn't yeah, and we block the laser so this turn he's gonna be doing shield pulse so some cards have an upkeep effect, so this target lock makes us deal one more damage, but we have to play one attack each turn. If we fail to attack, the upkeep does not get met, and the effect ends. So yeah, be sure to slam him with some DPS. Another attack is coming this turn, but can we win here? He has four shields and five life, so we can't really win here. I'd rather uh, preserve. Well, we don't have enough damage, but we gotta keep our target lock up, right? And here we should be able to just outright win. First battle out of the game. Easy. So yeah, I can't get over how great the the ship battles look. Okay, here, um, so now we have another type of resource, right? And these numbers determine how much of that resource we get every turn. So the tutorial suggests three power for ordinance and two for energy every turn, and yeah, I agree with that. So why is that? So our lasers require three ordinance and to, to, to fire. So yeah, and shields require two energy. And we do gain that every turn. You can freely adjust this as you want, even in combat. But it does have some downsides, which we'll get to later. So here, they're telling us that we can redistribute in combat, like so, but each change you make, different from the last turn, generates heat, and your ship can only take so much heat. If you overheat, you'll be taking one damage a turn, which is not the end of the world, but something you can't really use. So here, what do we have? We have 5-4, right? Uh, we can do target lock and beam sweep. So might as well start with that. That is an ideal opener for us, so we can maximize the buff. 
again, we need to attack every zone for target lock to remain active. And when we miss an attack or go through a turn that we do not attack, it falls off. Okay, so Laser Pulse has a special icon, which means you can target specific systems with it. So if you deal enough damage to a system, it will shut down. What they want us to do here is try to shut down the heavy blast laser. Did uh, we use our block? No, there's no no attacks coming. Might as well save our resources. Maybe we can even redistribute one more ordinance so we can do multiple attacks in a turn. Okay, we can discard unwanted cards with a right click. And it frees up a slot for next turn. Yeah, as you can see, we disabled his weapon right there. And his next move is shields. Might as well get some damage in while we can. He only has one hull left. Oh, how did we get damage here? I didn't notice. Bad. We blew all blocks. That's, that's rough. Discard them, so... Yeah, we're more likely to get an attack this turn. And these weapon systems, uh, no matter what system it repairs, in three turns. Here, uh, we should win. Yeah. Maybe gain a bit of resources and a subsystem, so I'll be explaining that here. So now we upgrade our reactor power and we have a third type of resource, which is mass. So it's used for shielding. Shield card requires two energy and one mass. All right, so the infrared emitter, as you can see, uh, it buffs weapons that no matter which, no matter what, card you use as long as it was fired from this weapon it deals one damage but adds one heat okay so yeah it's like a socket of sorts well, let's go to the next fight okay so choose the option gives us a combat advantage Plus three damage for the next fight. Okay, so there are also crew abilities. And um, let's say this. So he's going to be firing two things. And I want to deal that, right? Well, let's see. Crew abilities can be uh, uh, activated anytime. They have a cooldown, as you can see, and a cost. So this one costs five crew points. And it, a four, it has a four turn cooldown. And you get crew points for every fight, so they're they're quite scarce. But they have pretty decent effects. So I think I should hold off for now and just play pretty passively here. Um since he'll be doing laser pulse. I wanna shield a bit. Uh I guess beam sweep is free, right? So I can do that. Right, so there. So missiles are a little special. Uh, you can target them with anti-missile skills or, uh, or weapons, and they usually take you know at least one turn to travel to you. So you can see. So we're taking four damage from this missile and another four from laser pulse. Right now we have one shield, so I want to gain a bit more. Luckily, this guy has a crew ability that gives us 50% more shield, so why not? And we have 10. We're going to be able to block the missile and the laser pulse. You know, we, we have so much ordinance right now that I think we can afford to redirect some. Hmm. The energy, maybe? Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Since resources do carry over to the next turn. Okay. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. We might be taking some damage here.
Yeah. We have a lot of mass. We don't really need it. So. Hmm. As you can see, adjusting the energy outputs gave us heat. Wow. Nothing. Well, at least we have shields here. Shield up, Captain. And block all the damage. Sadly, diamonds. Alright. Now we're talking. Target lock. We slam this laser pulse because it attacks every turn. There you go. Now we can get ourselves a bit of a rest. Adjust this a bit. Alright, back to normal energy generation. As you can see, the fights can get pretty complex. Uh, some thought was required here to minimize damage. We got a missile coming in. Uh, it does four damage. I have one shield. Might as well block it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't want. I don't want to take unnecessary damage. We dissipate one heat a turn, as you can see here, the lower left. So you can make some adjustments every turn and you won't be that sad. Alright, so no incoming damage, we're safe to just absolutely blast them. I think our lock, our target lock, drop. Alright, so we got a new equipment. So first we got a new card. Not bad. I like this one. If you don't have shield, you get a chunk. And your shield lasts longer. In one shield point for every time you play a laser or ion attack. Ooh. But it costs four mass. But it's a forever buff. That's 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 interesting. That is interesting. But I think this raised shield will be very useful for us. We got a new weapon system and we'll be equipping that I'll show you so morale <clears throat> determines how much crew points we get and those are used for the crew abilities okay we can upgrade our core again oh not yet sorry so we now have the fourth slot and as you can see we do have missiles there extra means of attack all right, we're good. So we'll be using this energy generation. No changes. We just have missiles now. Okay, some more story. Okay, there are two paths in Breachway. The main and secondary path. So the yellow paths allow forward and backward movement. Okay. Cool. Consumes fuel to explore this one. So I think we're forced to take the secondary path. Well. Alright. Here goes. We save the civilians. We get one morale. If we ignore this fight, we lose the morale, or we just get combat advantage. I'm sorry, civilians. I feel bad to save those guys. So the enemy has a flak cannon, and if it damages you, it gets stronger every turn. But if you block it, it does, it just remains the damage remains the same. The shred is the effect that, that, that it stacks. So we'll try not to take any damage from Flak Barrage. Because we don't want to get that stacking debuff. Alright. First turn attack costs minus two. I like it. I like it. Maybe those civilians didn't die in vain. Well, we, we will be taking damage. But I want to maximize this. Right. got a lot of work done there 
maybe I don't need a lot of mass yet. Alright, you got some damage in. Oh, oh, that hurt, didn't it? So Flak Barrage is here, dealing 3 to 7 damage. Hits us, we get shredded. We might as well get one block in, right? Right, at least our target lock is still there. Uh, we have a bunch of ordnance here, so maybe we can get a bit more energy. Resources do carry on. Okay. Okay. We lucked up. We didn't get damaged. Here, I think we want to disable this uh, laser burst. Oh, there you go. So, and now he's doing nothing this turn. So we're free to just go ham. I think we just win. Oh, one more life. I. Hmm. Yeah, he's not attacking. Yeah, we're good. Oh, uh, no damage. Get to add another card. Let's see. Adds a card slot, but it costs four mass. Not bad. Oh, but I, I like this cheap missile option. This is also nice, but. I think I like this. We have an extra use of mass. Alright, so we get our first, I believe, auxiliary system. It's just another equipment slot. This has some cheap attacks. What does it do? If a missile is incoming... Oh, these are anti-missile skills. If a missile is incoming, you intercept it. Otherwise, you deal 2 damage. Alright. Sweet. Repair station. Not gonna attempt to do repairs. Alright, well, we repaired. So, looks like I should have saved those civilians. Bad bro buddies. Okay, apparently there's a gunship. Alright. If we power down our reactors, good as dead. Engage combat. Alright, this looks like a rough one. 75, oh, four weapon systems, huh? Red shot. It destroys the closest missile every turn. Okay. But we can't do missiles. Yeah. So we have to disable it with laser pulse. Maximize. Looks like we'll be taking some damage here, boys. Save up our resources for now. What are our other... Okay, gain two resources. Better shields. Okay. Better shields, better attack, gain resources. Oh, this spread shot is cheap. We got a bunch of attacks here. It is rough. It is rough. Maybe we can get a huge attack in here. This is AoE, right? Ooh. Okay, not bad. At least damage the laser pulse. Didn't attack this though. Let's block whatever damage we can. I think we need to stack up the heat this guy. We have that auxiliary weapon that stacks up heat on the enemy. Okay, this is good, so we can counter one missile. Hmm. Hmm. Boy, this is rough. This is rough. We need to redistribute points. This is rough. But you know, we can prevent the flak, I suppose, by firing the missile. Let's see how it goes. Down. 
No, it just shoots the missile and goes to our hull. Oh, well, we got the raised shield, right? So we get 12 shield values here. Not bad. Our energy. Oh, my. Okay. We got this. Maybe we should gain resources. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Okay, no damage, thank you. Got a missile coming in. So it's just the missile this turn. So we can block it. I know. Seven damage, huh? Six shield. We have one right there. Might as well block it. If we do target lock, we can trigger it. Oh, but the firecracker will get shot down. That's just sad. Might as well get it over with, though. Laser pulse, more damage. That spread shot has to go. That spread shot has to go. Beam sweep coming in as well. This is pain. This is painful. Hmm. Hopefully, we luck out here. Get the spread shot. Oh, yes. <laughs> the RNG gods are good. Hmm. Okay, this is a good spread. Now we can fire our missile. Alright. Maybe, maybe we got a chance, boys. So he's doing nothing this turn, so we can absolutely slam this guy. Get the missile out of the way. Keep up our buff. So his heat is stacking up quick because of our buff. I think we still got two turns for this spread shot to be. some of these shields and fire a laser pulse on well, enemy attacks deal minus one damage for three duration we might as well disable that these are we have a chance to break one of these things the missile isn't so bad maybe we just go for the kill here a block well there's no incoming fire right the spread shot is back but well we can raise shields we will block the missile and the flak hopefully Can't use any of these. He's taking a lot of heat damage. We should win. We should win. Alright. We have the light barrage again. And another missile firing, so I think we can just safely beam sweep our way to victory. It's gonna add more heat as well. Yeah, it's over for you, buddy. Yeah, damage took care of you. 
Alright. What do we get? I really like this missile. Shield amplifier. Gain shield, but we require an existing shield. I don't like it. Extra one of these guys. Mm. More missiles. Alright. It's over. You made it out alive somehow. Is that the end? Oh, there you go. But yeah, let's talk about the game a bit. Uh, honestly, um, yeah, this is very reminiscent of FTL, but it has a very, very modern, you know, coat of paint on it. If you love that game, you will definitely like Breachways. And if you liked our video, man, like, subscribe, comment, help us get monetized. Uh, I'm actually looking forward. I might pick this game up later. Uh, again, it is out on early access as of today or yesterday for some people. So be sure to check it out. This was more fun than I anticipated. And it, the combat is a lot more engaging and thoughtful than I initially thought. It's definitely a cool game that I hope gets expanded over time. And yeah. I guess that's it. So uh, make out and you have a good rest of your day.